We saw the numerous driving distractions acted out here in the studio, and we have learned why these distractions are especially dangerous to new drivers. Now we're going to talk about some knowledge and driving tools that experts use every day to keep them aware and safer while driving. Joe, I know you had a great question earlier, and it applies right here. Yes. You mentioned you still work hard on your street driving skills. I don't understand why you have to work so hard when you have years of experience and you're a professional race car driver. I need to always work hard at my driving because there are so many variables out on the streets. The constant change of vehicles coming from all directions, pedestrians, different speeds, weather, and much more. These variables mean none of us really know exactly what will happen next on the roads. That's why I work hard to gather all the information I can to anticipate problems ahead. In these next sections, I'm going to explain about the driving tools I use. These tools have been learned from all my years of driving experience. New drivers can use them too. Being fully aware of my sensors when I drive is the most important tool in my safe driving toolbox. I cannot be fully aware of my sensors if I drive distracted. If a new driver cuts out all distractions while driving, then, over time, they will become aware of how their sensors are very much involved in the driving process. When I talk about the sensors here, I'm talking about your eyes, hearing, touch, and even smell, believe it or not. The more you drive distraction-free, the more you'll become aware of your sensors alerting you to change and potential dangers. Research has shown that distracted driving stops or limits you from receiving all the important information your sensors are trying to send you as you drive. Let's look at how our sensors can be involved in the driving process to help us. The eyes are obviously the most important when driving. Your eyes have both central vision and the very critical peripheral vision. I cannot emphasize enough how important peripheral vision is in driving. Over my years of street driving, my peripheral vision has been a lifesaver. On numerous occasions, my peripheral vision has also alerted me to something potentially dangerous in my rearview mirror. Your ears can hear an emergency vehicle possibly before you can even see it. The ears are also very involved in balance and can help you sense when a car is in or out of control, like during an evasive maneuver or on snow and ice. The touch of your hands on your steering wheel can tell you if you have an underinflated tire or a wheel alignment problem. The touch of your feet on the pedals obviously controls acceleration and braking, but can also transmit problems like worn out brakes. New drivers, no, all drivers, you have to know when something is different or changing with your vehicle. If you feel something is different or may have changed in the steering or brakes, for instance, call your car dealer. Your nose can help you too when driving. On a freeway, many times my early awareness of smell has alerted me to burning rubber from a shredded truck tire. This smell can often mean sudden slowdowns ahead or cars suddenly swerving around to miss big chunks of the tire. All the distractions we showed you earlier will either totally shut down or partially shut down awareness of your senses. For instance, reading a text message means you have effectively closed your eyes as a smartphone held low will not allow your eyes central or peripheral vision to help you. Looking at a passenger means your eyes are also effectively closed as they are not looking ahead. Changing a CD or programming a GPS system while moving causes the same problems. Obviously, your eyesight is the most important sense you have to help you receive information from the road. There is another point I want to talk about here regarding your senses and driving distractions. Being involved in a phone conversation, whether hands-free or not hands-free, means you have set up a competition between your ears and your other senses, especially the eyes. I'll explain further. As the driver, if you are in a phone conversation or conversation with a passenger, then you are obviously listening to that person. You are also thinking about what you hear and how to answer. Research is showing that the processing of what you hear and thinking about how to answer is very distracting and effectively shuts down awareness of your peripheral vision. We're talking about a simple conversation, and yes, it's a real, measurable driving distraction. We have now discussed fully how a distracted driver has very effectively shut down or partially shut down their sensors from helping them. New drivers, please give your sensors a chance to help you. Work very hard to drive distraction-free.